Hello guys, my name is Kuminek and I welcome you to this new video and today we are gonna be watching the Team B Furbingo playing in the one, the only, the almighty German tier 10 super heavy tank, the mouse. Now I could also call this thing an artillery magnet or a premium spam magnet. Speaking of premium rounds, um, if you look down here you can notice that uh, that Furbingo actually loaded in a full magazine of premium rounds. To which, as a person who is actually commenting his replay, I have only one thing to say, and that is... Fuck you. You thought that you can just casually load in a full magazine of premium rounds and then just casually switch it with the standard rounds thinking like no one's going to notice it? I did notice it. I did notice it. Thankfully, Furbingo won't be needing those rounds all that much throughout this replay because... Well, he's playing in the mouse. Do I really need to explain anything? This tank is the most heavily tank in the uh, most heavily armored tank in the entire game. You seriously do not need to shoot all that much in this tank. <laughs> Still though, from the beginning of this game, this replay is gonna be quite slow because after all, I should once again point out that Furbingo is playing in the mouse, which is one of the slowest tanks in the entire game as well. Not to mention that, um, as I said, this tank um, doesn't really shoot all that much, it usually just blocks shells and spots for its allies and those kinds of things. So even when stuff starts rolling, our hero probably won't be the one that will be actually pulling the trigger. Well, speaking of pulling the trigger, that Progetto 46 uh, chopped a tiny little bit of our hero's health straight from the beginning of the game. And what is actually quite surprising is that the Progetto managed to penetrate the mouse with just standard rounds. Do you know what is so incredible about that? It is a tier 8 tank that managed to penetrate a tier 10 super heavy tank with just standard rounds. What a lucky... Ah, oh, either way, our hero is pulling up a bit closer to the enemy, he's trying to take a shot at the enemy uh, Japanese heavy tank, I forgot his name. However, on top of this tiny ridge line, well, tiny, a huge ridge line in front of him, he actually managed to take a shot from the enemy Yegaru. And not just any shot, he managed to take a heat shell from Yegaru. This shell has the highest amount of penetration out of any shell in the entire game. It is a whopping 420 penetration and our hero just casually managed to drive by and just bounce it. I got no idea how he did it, but good freaking job. Over here we can see that the enemy mouse is also actually shooting the premium rounds and it's actually kind of understandable that people are spamming premium rounds in this tank because uh, the standard rounds got abysmally low penetration of just 246. That's ridiculously low. I would consider that penetration to be somewhere around alright at a tier 9, but at a tier 10 this is definitely like cluster. I do have a feeling like no tank at a tier 10 should have this low penetration, with the only exception obviously being light tanks, because those things barely even can be considered tanks anymore, those things are pretty much cars. Still though, our hero is starting to take first couple of hits as well as I'm taking a couple of windows messages. So give me a second, there we go, there we go. I ain't restarting this replay anymore. I've restarted it like five times already. Still though, we're already four minutes and our hero managed to deal only 1500 damage and block about 3000 damage. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice, but it isn't somewhat breathtaking or anything like that. Uh, also, I should note, uh, point out one thing, and it is that our hero actually is not all that much of a noob in this tank. As I originally thought that this guy is an absolute freaking noob in this tank, thanks to the fact that, well, he loaded in full premium rounds, which is usually a great indication of how much of a noob somebody is. But this guy actually does know how to angle this tank's armor proper proper level. I can't pronounce that word, uh, word. Still though, our hero Fur Bingo actually knows that this is the best angle to angle the mouse's thread. Because even though that this angle might look as if you were over angling the mouse's thread, it actually gives you the highest amount of armor you can get with this thing. It's kind of surprising, but yeah, that is kind of an the meta strat for this thing, just roll up on the enemies, shoot and then just try to get your tank into that servant angle. Still though, there we go, we are, <laughs> our hero managed to absorb yet another shell from the enemy Lorraine, I think this is the second shell that he managed to absorb from that tank, tank 
from the SVG. SVGs are not tanks, they're SVGs, obviously I know somebody in the comment section will be obviously really annoyed by that. Also, um, I should point out one thing, and that is that our hero is kind of functioning like a sort of an pocket scout at this point, because he spotted for nearly 3000 damage. That is incredibly high, especially considering the fact that he's playing in one of the slowest tanks in the entire game. Speaking of which, uh, I forgot what I wanted to say. Doesn't matter, it probably didn't matter, still though. Both of the sides are somewhat equally matched at this point, because the enemy team was able to kill only 5 members of your team, whereas your team was able to kill only 3 members of the enemy team, and I should also highlight one thing, and that is that we are already nearly 6 minutes in the, in, in the game. So, yeah, no one's dying. Why is that happening? Because this is Prokhorovka. In case you haven't ever played this game, uh, haven't ever played on this map, you probably do not know about the fact that this is actually the campiest of all the maps in the entire game. You can actually see it right over here, right down here. I remember that back in the day a lot of people were calling the Malinovka the Campingovka because everybody was camping there, but that was kind of the case only at lower tiers where people didn't know how to properly play, them, play that map. On this map, however, people will be camping even on higher tiers. Especially on higher tiers. Actually, only lower tiers will be rushing in and trying to take down the enemies. The higher tiers will, will be just camping over here and praying to the freaking god that somebody will spot the enemies that are over here and over here. Uh, that's actually what our hero is right now doing. He's uh, trying to spot the enemies over this ridge line and he's giving a ton of damage to his... Uh, where is he? Where is he? I do not know if this guy is actually dealing all that much... Actually, he's dealing a lot of damage to the enemy targets, but I do know that the GW Tiger P will be the carrier of this game, dealing a massive amount of damage throughout this entire replay, thanks to the Team B for Bingo Spotting. So, yeah, definitely keep an eye on the GW. So, though, our hero rolled up over those rich lines yet again, and he managed to take three shells into him, each of which dealt about 300 damage, totaling at how much? About 1000 damage total. That's a pretty fat amount of hit points taken away from you. At this point, you are also riding the GG. FV and ISU lose the game. Thank God for being toxic. Yeah. Great job for Bingo. Running such a great replay like this. Come on, man. Come on, man. Still though, uh, you're already down to only 200 hit points, which means that the enemy artilleries can actually take you down. The enemy Bachetion 155-55 can actually take you down with a single shell, because as we might have seen a couple of seconds ago, he actually, well, that was Lorraine, but the Lorraine was able to deal 241 damage, which means that he will be, he's more than likely to actually one-shot you, one you at this point. Here we can see that, the, uh, that your artilleries are actually trying to support you by shooting at the enemy Conqueror over there, right behind that ridge line. We will see about that. The Conqueror actually managed to ding your frontal armor. We could have also seen how you were actually trying to angle against that shell. Oh man, this game is actually getting quite boring. I probably shouldn't have picked a mouse game. Hmm. You're right now checking your wounds at the, at the front of your tank because, yeah, obviously the enemies were able to penetrate you a couple of times. It's also quite surprising. I should I should definitely highlight one thing, and that is that the enemy team is spamming almost purely premium rounds, and yet they are somehow capable of bouncing a lot of those shells. Like you blocked 4000 damage against enemies that are spamming premium rounds. I do not know if, it, if this is the proof of the enemies just being noobs and not knowing where to aim against this thing, or them just, you know, struggling against the chairman superior engineering. So, uh, your GW actually managed to shut down the superior, uh, superior conqueror. Uh, I was uh, I was saying that you should be keeping an eye on the GW, because this guy is gonna be carrying this game on his back, basically. Well, Caring. This guy also also agrees on the fact that the mouse is spotting everything. Like 4000 damage spotted. That is absolutely ridiculous. Still, though, we are down to only six enemy tanks uh, remaining, out of which two, two things are artilleries and four are actually TDs. I, for some reason, thought that there are only six enemy tanks remaining, but make it seven because I completely forget about the fact that there actually is a little bit. Speaking of a little bit, 
Mouse, our mouse, the fur bingo actually managed to just spot him. There we go, 400 damage spotted. Will there be any more damage spotted? Probably the artil artillery is already aiming at this spot. Give me a couple of seconds, I gotta grab myself a drink because my mouth is getting dry. It's yet again ridiculously hot and I get troubles thinking, speaking and everything. Ugh. By the way, I got regular min mineral water if anyone would be curious about that. It's like no fancy water, no Pepsi, no Coca-Cola and nothing like that. Regular min mineral water. And also, it's uh, just a bit of an, like a random side by thingy. In my country, uh, mineral water is pretty much always soda. So, technically speaking, what I have over here is soda. Oh, oh, oh god. The enemy low range just managed to hit our hero and left him at only 15 hit points remaining. However, he's pulling back, seeing that he managed to spot 5000 damage throughout this game. That's absolutely ridiculous. Here we can also see that he's actually shouting in a chat that he has only 15 health remaining. The GW Tiger is trying to cheer him up, saying that he should go for 6k, but yeah, there is no chance our hero is gonna be able to pull that off. Or is he? Or is he? There are no enemy sport tanks remaining. No heavy tanks, no medium tanks, no light tanks, none of those. There are only 4 TDs and 2 artilleries, all of which are known as campers. <laughs> Uh, so, that means that pretty much the entire team is gonna be somewhere around this location. Maybe with an artillery over here, because it's kind of a typical spot to be in if you are playing an artillery on this map. We will see in a couple of seconds after. Oh, yeah, as I said, there's a typical spot for an artillery to be in. There we go. Uh, Furbingo took a shot at the enemy Lorraine, finally taking revenge. Stupid RT! What? Did you get blind fired? No, we didn't. Stupid RT. <laughs> uh, wasn't that guy actually playing an artillery as well? I do have a feeling like it was the uh, M53, M55 saying stupid RT. <laughs> oh, seeing this like this, seeing this tank's name like this, it's, it looks really, really weird. Either way, there is the enemy Yegaru. One single shell from that guy and you are dead. If that thing fires high explosive, there is no chance you are surviving. There we go, the enemy T-28 actually took a sh shot at you and managed to ding. Oh, and there is the enemy Jagdiger. That thing has a ton of DPM, so beware of the second shot, because that thing will be coming in soon. However, I do have a feeling like at this point you are no longer spotted because of the fact that you actually managed to take down the T-28, which I do have a feeling was the only tank that was actually spotting you. The JP, uh, the enemy Jagaru, also is no longer spotted, which only strengthens my belief that you are no longer spotted solo. You are trying to spot the enemy tanks by slowly moving over this ridge line, but you are being super cautious because yet again you got only 15 health remaining. You managed to spot the enemy Yak Tiger. There we go, 1000 damage spotted. Will there be any more damage spotted? Pretty much a moment. You oh my god, there we go. Yet another heat round and yet another heat round bounce. I got no... Alright. This guy has got my level of luck. He shot our hero like three times. Three times if I'm correct. And all three of those shells actually bounce. Toto. Our hero is right now at 9000 damage spotted with only two enemy tanks remaining. One of which is in a couple of seconds gonna get deleted. And the enemy Yegaru is over here. He should probably be still reloading. Maybe, maybe not. We can tell. Still though, there we go. 772 more damage spotted. And G freaking G. And in the post game stats, we may see just how much of an amazing game this was, as Ferbingo was capable of earning himself 8 medals in total, but we don't care about that. The only medal we care about is obviously the Petrol Duty, as our hero was capable of spotting nearly 10,000 damage. Absolutely ridiculous result. In team score we may also see that you were capable of dealing nearly 4000 damage, which is nice, but it isn't all the groundbreaking or anything. You were capable of killing one tank and earning yourself 1400 experience. I should also highlight a GW Tiger, a tier 8 artillery, which was capable of dealing 4000 damage against two tiers higher opponents and also was able to earn himself 1300 experience. I told ya, keep an eye on this guy. 
So though that's gonna be the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.